Hi everyone, Searing Frost here in the Python library. Today, we'll be checking out the Tenacity project. Tenacity is an open source, third party library, and it's used for retrying code after exceptions. Let's dive in. To get Tenacity working, first just pip install Tenacity from your terminal or command prompt, and then import Tenacity with from Tenacity import asterisk. Tenacity uses function decorators to tell a function to retry. By default, at retry will work after any exception. At retry with nothing else will retry indefinitely. Luckily, several time and execution count based parameters can be added to the decorator. Here we can specify tenacity to stop after five attempts before finally raising the exception. This function will retry indefinitely with two seconds elapsing between each retry. We can also combine these parameters to generate more complex behaviors. This function will run three times and wait two seconds between retries before finally raising the exception. Exponential backoff is another piece of functionality Tenacity implements. Exponential backoff means increasing the time between retries based on a multiplier, two by default. Exponential backoff is important for network calls, where giving a server more time to recover may be important. This function retries immediately, then at 2, 4, 8, and finally 10 seconds before maxing out and retrying every 10 seconds. Retrying a function based on the type of exception raised can also be very useful. In this example, the function only retries on IO error and connection error exceptions, but allows type error to be raised immediately. We pass the IO error and connection error as a tuple. This would be useful for retrying failed input output calls and network calls. IO error because x is 1 is printed three times before the exception is raised, and connection error because x is 2 is printed three times before that exception is raised. The type error exception is raised immediately because Tenacity's retry ignores this error. Sometimes a function should be retried even if it completes without an exception. Tenacity allows custom retrying functions to be used. If the custom function returns true, the original function is retried. Let's create a function that returns true if an HTTP code is invalid. Then we can define two other functions, one for a successful 200 response and one for a failure 400 response. A 200 response from our success HTTP request will not be retried, but a 400 code from our failure HTTP request will be retried indefinitely. Thanks for joining me in the Python library. Tenacity or other retrying code is vital for Python programming today because so many services are networked and have the potential to fail. It's easy to go down the happy path and assume that your code will always work, but planning for and mitigating failure will make you a better engineer. Links to the code and my blog post on Tenacity are in the description. I'll see everyone next time.